So in last week's video, we talked about connecting your iPad to your Raspberry Pi 4. If you happen to miss that, you can click the card above. But for this video, I wanted to show you an even faster way to connect your iPad or iOS device to your Raspberry Pi 4. I didn't mention this in the previous video, but I first learned about the Pi 4 USB-C gadget device mode from Ben Hartle's website or his blog. And I'll leave a link to that in the description box. Ben Hartle's work has greatly been expanded upon by Rob over at TechCraft. Rob has compiled several Raspberry Pi OS images that support USB-C gadget mode right out of the box. With these images, you can skip editing the necessary files to enable USB-C gadget mode. So if you head over to Rob's GitHub page, and I will leave a link in the description box, you can see all of the pre-compiled images of Raspberry Pi OS. There's even an Ubuntu server image available. So from this point, you are all set with the software that you need for your operating system. Now, just like in the previous video, your hardware will remain the same. So your Raspberry Pi, your micro SD card, your SD card reader, and a type C cable to connect your Pi to your iPad. If you're going to use the Raspberry Pi 02W, you will need a type C to micro USB cable or a type C to type C cable with a female type C to male micro USB adapter. Alternatively, you can use a USB hub to connect to your 02W and power your device. Once you have your hardware together, you can start writing your image to the micro SD card. Again, you will plug in your SD card to your SD card reader, plug in your SD card reader into your computer, and you can open up Raspberry Pi Imager to write the image. Once you have Imager open, you can scroll down to use custom, and from here you can select the pre-configured image that you downloaded from GitHub. Next, you'll click choose storage, and you'll select your micro SD card. And from here, you'll select the cog wheel to add the custom settings to your image. From this menu, you wanna select the host name, enable SSH, and you want to pre-configure your Wi-Fi. Once you're done, click right and let Imager do its thing. Once Imager is done, you can remove the SD card reader and plug in your micro SD card into your Raspberry Pi. Connect your USB type C cable into your iPad and then plug the other end into your Raspberry Pi. Give it a few moments and you should be good to go. So that is the quicker, easier way to set up your Raspberry Pi as a USB-C gadget device. Now remember, you have to go into Raspberry Config and enable VNC so that you can visualize the desktop on your iPad or iOS device. Now clearly the iPad mini is a lot smaller than the iPad Pro and it's great if you want a light travel setup with the Raspberry Pi. However, you will need to supply a keyboard and mouse if you're gonna be doing a lot of extensive typing. I do not recommend trying to type on the touch screen because it will definitely slow you down. Beyond that, this is a great small compact setup for programming in Python on the go. But that's all I got for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments, hit the like button, and if you wanna see more Raspberry Pi content, subscribe to the channel. I'm Jason, and I will see you in the next one.